What's going on Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown and if you're new here, welcome. So for the third week in a row, we have another divisional matchup and this time it's against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and we're home. Now to be quite honest here, the Bucs are one of the more predictable teams in the league, so we kind of know what we're facing, a good offense and a bad defense. But in case there's something you don't know about the Bucs, I hope I can provide you with as much information you need to know about this matchup, so let's just get this game preview started. If you're new here, how these game previews work is we're never going to predict who wins the game, instead we're going to go over three things. One, what to watch out for from the opponent two possible breakups for the Falcons, and three, how the Falcons can win the game. Not necessarily if they win the game, but how they can win. So let's start it out with what to watch out for from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. First things first, we gotta watch out for the wide receiver duo. No need to explain how good Mike Evans is, but can we please take a second to realize that Chris Godwin might actually be a bigger threat than Evans? In fact, dare I say it, but he might be one of the scariest receivers we face all year. You can't make this stuff up. He's a total stud. These two are key reasons on why the Bucks have the 6th best offense according to ESPN. The next thing we gotta watch out for, and I, I cannot believe I'm saying this, I might not ever forgive myself, but Jameis Winston. Alright, 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 alright. Hold on just a second, let me explain. Yes, he fumbles the ball away, he throws 10 pick sixes a game, but you also have to admit that if his receivers break out, that must mean Jameis is also making good throws. He sure can get the passing game rolling, and he's very good at the deep ball in my opinion. When he's on, he's on. He's also a somewhat mobile quarterback, and we've had some problems stopping this. Plus, let's just be real, Jameis never necessarily wins games, but he always seems to keep them close. I wouldn't be surprised if this game ends up being close like it usually is when we face the Bucks. And the last thing we gotta watch out for is surprisingly a good run defense. Now it's not at an elite level, but it's respectably good for a pretty bad overall defense, especially when you have Indomitian suit. I mean they've held Christian McCaffrey so maybe that's something. But, just like every other team in the league, the Bucks are not perfect, so here are possible breakouts for the Falcons. I have two things that could break out, and the first one, oh wow, what a surprise, it's the passing game. I feel like we're getting to the point where I don't need to explain this one because it breaks out every time, but I also want to give a big shout out to our hardworking Falcons in Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, and Austin Hooper is injured, but you do great as well. <laughs> Plus, the Bucks have a young developing secondary, so this shouldn't be too much of a challenge. And the last thing that could possibly break out is the pass rush. The Bucks O-line, for the most part, is pretty average, but man, our D-line has stepped things up as of late, and I expect them to make big plays here, especially at home. And some will argue that if there's a good pass rush, it might make the whole defense around them break out as well. So with all of this being said, how can the Falcons win the game? It's what we've been doing in the last two games. We just gotta have a loud crowd first off since this is a home game. We didn't do that in the last two games because we were away. But anyway, we have to have a loud crowd. We have to execute on offense on all cylinders, put the receivers on lock, and pressure Jameis because trust me, when he's pressured, he'll probably like throw the game away or something that Jameis Winston does. Not trying to roast him, but it's just kind of what he does, so we gotta pressure Jameis Winston. But that's all I got. I can't promise you the Falcons win this game, but I also can't promise you they lose this. Let's just hope they get another divisional win and it's just as impressive as the last two. But other than that, please make sure to smash that like button, blow up the comment section, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any weekly content. There's new episodes every Tuesday and Friday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern, and I'll see you guys this Tuesday recapping the game at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. As always, rise up.